Hey, what's up guys? It's Jackson here, back with a new video. Today I'm playing this fake Expo 3.0 deck, but instead of the Expo, I have the Hog Rider. So, our opponent goes tested on the middle here, which is really annoying because if I did have Expo, then I would be able to punish him really hard here, but since we have a Hog Rider, uh, that Tesla would pull the Hog Rider, so I'm not able to play it yet. Looks like he has a Fire Spirit too, so, and Skelly, so I'm thinking it's either an Expo deck or, um, another hog player so this guy does have a hog rider so i'm going to test the low here if he has earthquake i'll have to commit archers or a knight but it doesn't look like he's going to play it so i'm going to be fine and i can't go in yet because he does have the tesla back in hand and they don't have the best cycle to try to out cycle it quickly and this cycle is just as fast as mine so it would be hard anyway to out cycle it so he goes with the tesla in the middle there so uh, i think i'm just going to start uh, chipping out his tower as much as i can and uh, just let the Tesla kind of do its thing before I play my Hog Rider. He's still, like, he's acting like I have Hog Rider, but I guess he's just not thinking about the uh, fact that I could have Expo because he keeps playing uh, really weird Teslas in the middle. So he goes Hog Rider there into my Tesla, and he plays the Tesla of his own. That Tesla is actually one tile to the uh, left, so my Hog Rider is going to go to the tower when I play it in the right lane. He Valkyrie to zero Elixir there, so we're going to get two Hog Hits, maybe three. Okay, two Hog Hits, so that's really nice for us. Um, he was laughing. That was a funny mistake that he made. I'm going to Knight here uh, to go to Valkyrie, and I'm going to Ice Spirit just to uh, save as much HP on my Knight as possible. And then he's going to have to commit to defend it. So he goes with the Firecracker there, so that's new information. Um, I thought he maybe could have had Archer Queen or something. I think I'm going to Tesla like this to uh, activate the King with my Firecracker. Okay, wait, he goes with the... Okay, yikes, I made a mistake. Um... He pushed the Hog Rider forward with his Firecracker, so I do end up taking one Hog Rider hit, but it is okay. We got the King activation, and we're out of about one Hog Rider hit. I thought he would Tesla high there, so I went Archers at the River, but he did end up playing it high, so it's okay. He's going to have to commit to defend them anyway, so it's not the end of the world, and uh, we don't really need the Archers too much on defense anyway. So the Ice Spirit does jump on the tower, which is perfect. I'm going to go in with another Hog Rider, and he goes Log, so I think he's going to Tesla. Okay, <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, I knew he would Tesla there, but unfortunately he did play in the one placement that I uh, wasn't able to hit it with the Fireball once I have thrown it. Um, I do get nice skellies there on the Firecracker though, and I think I outcycled this Tesla once again, so I'm going to go in again. Uh, I think he needs to log, and now he's going to Tesla again. Uh, he plays it right there, so I'm not going to Fireball. Hey, I'm just going to log the Tesla, and then I'm going to play uh, Skeletons over here to put the Firecracker, but I do mess them up, so I'm going to play Archers. Not a big deal. I think I got him once again here. Never mind. Yeah, so he's back. So that Tesla looked like it was a zero elixir, so I should be up uh, a pretty good amount here. So I'm just going to keep uh, trying to cycle really quick and I'll cycle him. So I'm going to go Hog Rider at zero elixir here. He goes with the lightning, so he has no elixir right now. So I'm going to just let the King Tower uh, kill the Hog Rider on my side and I'm going to log his skellies. So I do get one Hog Rider hit, so that's really nice. We are up a little bit of damage there. I thought I would have gotten more damage on that trade, but. Uh, I didn't have enough elixir to log immediately, so his skeletons did get a lot of value. I'm going to go in here once again. He's got a Tesla in hand, but it just uh, makes him not able to push with the Hog Rider because he has to spend four elixir to defend mine. Okay, I'm going to Ice Spirit here, and I'm going to log. I do miss the Hog Rider. I thought that I needed to log the Firecracker, but it did not die. Let's see. The Hog Rider gets a hit somehow. That's really annoying. I'm going to Fireball here. Okay, that was a really good Tesla on his part. I am going to log too. Um, let's see, we are barely up damage. I'm going to go in once again. I need to Ice Spirit this Hog Rider so I can play a late Tesla. Okay, so we're going to defend that. This is really close, guys. Um, I don't know how he's getting these Teslas down so late. I'm going to lock here, and then I'm going to go Hog Rider once again. Uh, let's see, I'm going to Fireball. Hopefully I hit the Tesla. Okay, he misses the Tesla. Okay, so we are going to win this game, I think, because that Tesla even finally missed one. Uh... I'm just going to Tesla over here because he's going to Lightning. Okay, perfect. So I do dodge his Lightning there. That was really obvious Lightning in my opinion. I'm going to Log just to be safe. And now I'm just going to uh, kind of place cards down. I'm going to Tesla high. This is also an empty Lightning position Tesla. So it does dodge it once again. Um, he has no Elixir to defend. So that's going to be a game. So that was really a game against a Hog Rider mirror matchup. This guy definitely had the matchup since he had the Fireball and the Firecracker though. Okay, so here we are against Christian. 
We are uh, just above 7K right now, so we need to get up. We're very low in trophies. Um, I'm not really having too much fun playing this meta anyway, so uh, pushing is just really, like, it's just not fun. I'm not enjoying the game, so I'm having trouble doing it. He goes with the bar barrel there, and my archer does get two hits on his right tower, so uh, it could be like a beatdown deck, like Golem or something. He is an Inferno Dragon, so I think it might be Balloon Freeze. I'm going to Tesla really high here, even though I think it's Balloon, because I have Fireball and Archers in hand, that I am able to just um, use those to kill like a Lumberjack Balloon push if he were to go for it. Uh, yeah, so he is an Electro Dragon too, so it is going to be Balloon Freeze, I think, with the Bowler. I'm playing these Archers same lane here. Uh, you don't really want to split archers too much in this matchup. You kind of want to save them um, for defense and just play them like same lane whenever they play like an Inferno Dragon um, or an Electro Dragon or like a Baby Dragon if they have Baby Dragon um, and play them into the same lane of uh, those three cards. So this is one matchup you won't really see me splitting archers once I know their deck. So he, he natured the Hawk to King in there, so that's obviously that was going to happen eventually, so might as well go ahead and get it over with. Uh, he bar barreled the Ice Spirit there, so I think that bar barrel should die unless the balance changes. Okay, wow, that actually does get a hit. That's really weird. I'm surprised I got a hit. I guess the barb hit speed made it get a hit. Uh, I outcycled this Tornado there, so I am going to get a Hog Rider hit because the Lumberjack doesn't full defend. And I'm going to play a Knight to save my Archer. And I'm just going to Tesla the Balloon, and that's going to be a really clean defense there. I'm going to play Skellies on the Inferno Dragon to defend that. And let's see. Okay, Tesla dodges the bomb, which is nice. Archer gets another hit. So we are up about 600 damage. I'm going to go Ice Spirit first here, and then I'm going to Hog Rider. He does play a bowler in the back, so I think he's just going to have to NATO this to King. Yep. So maybe we end up through counting this guy. Uh, it, we're really far away, but uh, sometimes if they keep NATOing it to King, you actually get more damage on the King Tower than you do on the Arena Tower. Um, and then you can three count them in Tiebreaker. So he's going to go in here, so I'm going to Tesla in the Balloon placement, and I'm going to Ice Spirit over here. I'm going to Knight the Bowler, and I think I need to Fireball once this Balloon comes to the Tesla. Okay, I Fireballed it away from the Tesla, so he's going to get hits here. It should only be one hit. Yeah, so only one hit. Not the end of the world. We are down damage now, but that was about as good as defense as it could have gotten, I think. Unless I would have wanted to not Fireball the um, Inferno Dragon. I'm going to hog on the left here to get out of Elixir because I don't want him to go in. But it looks like he's going in anyway, so I'm going to score a lot of damage in the left lane. Hopefully one more hawk hit. Okay, I got so many hawk hits in the left lane. And he's going to uh, just commit to all offense here. I don't even think I need to play a fireball. Yeah, I'm just going to play a defensive hog rider. The bowler doesn't shoot the hog rider twice, so I am going to take a bowler shot. So I'm going to surround it with skellies. We have about even damage on both sides, which is not really like the best situation. But it's okay because uh, we now have the choice of going either lane. I'm going to pre-tussle once again, and I'm going to play archers in the same lane because I know he's going to go in. I'm going to immediately, uh, yeah, I'm going to hog rider ice spirit here to force out elixir, uh, make him have to tornado. Let's see. Yeah, so he does have to tornado, which means he can't go in. It's perfect. And he goes with the bowler there, so that tesla does die to the electro dragon, so I'm going to have to set up a new one. Uh, it wouldn't move for some reason. That was really weird. I was trying to place it in the, the placement it is now. Let's see, he goes Balloon, so I am just going to Archers, and I'm going to go with the Hog Rider immediately. He does Freeze, so he doesn't have much Elixir. Yeah, so he Bar Barrels. Uh, the Balloon shouldn't get a hit. Hopefully that's not death damage. Okay, perfect. And he gives up two Hockets on the left, so that was a really weird sequence. I don't really know why he committed with the Balloon Freeze like that. Let's see, I'm going to play Archers in the corner once again. He goes Bowler at the bridge, so I'm going to Hog Rider. I'm going to Knight over here, and I mess placed up, I mess placed that Tesla, so... I think I'm going to need to Fireball on defense here just to make sure I don't take much damage. I do miss the Lumberjack there, so that Balloon might get a hit. That really sucks because my finger slipped. Okay, Balloon doesn't get a hit. I'm going to play a Knight up high. And let's see, I'm going to Hog Rider at zero. I'm going to Ice Spirit to hopefully freeze everything. Okay, I do freeze the Lumberjack and hop the Baller. I'm going to log on defense. He does freeze my Hog Rider, which is always a good sign. Uh, that shouldn't get a hit. Oh, wow, that actually got a hit. Okay, I'm going to go in again. He's got a Bowler this, but the Bowler should be targeted on the Knight. Um, okay, it does hit the hog rider twice, which sucks. So I'm just going to fireball his tower there. Uh, I'm not really scared of the push in the left lane. I'm only worried about the right lane. I'm going to tussle high here, so it pulls the balloon. I'm going to ice spirit the inferno dragon. Archer's up high. Go with another hog rider here and fireball the balloon. I don't think he can defend this hog rider. Okay, he nados it, but we should get more damage than him. And we actually got a hog hit because he messed up the nado. So that's going to be a really good game against balloon freeze. That matchup is really tough, so uh, hopefully you guys saw how to play it. Okay, here we are in the last game against Pekka Loves Haru. 
So I assume this guy's a Packer player, and yep, there's the bandit and the Electro Wizard. So we're going to get one hog at there. It looks like this guy is playing Pekka Birch Spam, so I'm just going to play a Knight over here to kill the Bandit and the E-Wiz and play Skellies on the E-Wiz. Good. Okay, so uh, he already knows that I am uh, playing Hog Rider instead of Exo, so uh, we've kind of thrown that away, but I didn't really have a better starting play than I did. So I'm going to split Archers here to kill the Ghost. That should defend it perfectly. That's a really good tip for you guys. And he goes with a Magic Archer up high. So I'm just going to Tesla this Magic Archer instead of Fireballing it. It is going to hit my Tesla like three times. Okay, I think that might have been four. Um, but it's not the end of the world because we do have Ice Spirit to defend the Battle Ram. So he's probably going to Battle Ram here. Yeah, so he Battle Rams the back. So I'm going to Hog Rider in the left lane. I know he's going to peck it, but it's fine because uh, if he ended up pecking in front of the Battle Ram, then I wouldn't have been able to defend it. So uh, I had to let him peck at the Hog Rider there then I would have lost my whole tower to the battle room. I hope that makes sense. Uh, these archers should clean everything up nicely. I think uh, I'm going to need to kite this with the hog rider, so I'm going to kite it over here. Let's see. Okay, he goes with the E-Wiz. I'm going to play Ice Spirit on the E-Wiz to freeze it and split its damage. Okay, perfect. I split one damage and I froze it, so that's really nice. I'm going to log here. I'm logging low because I'm trying to defend all damage. I think it would have hit my tower twice if I would have tried to log it with the tower. So we have his tower at 3,200, so we're up 500 damage. So this is matchup's going to be really like, like if we play good defense, we can defend uh, most of the game and just score some hawk hits, but the defense isn't necessarily easy to play. So let's see. He might Magic Archer here, so I'm going to play a Knight. I'm, I'm going to wait him for a Tesla. Okay, so he does Magic Archer, so I think I can Fireball that in the tower. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to Fireball the Magic Archer in the tower. That's always free damage. Can't really get punished for it. I'm going to hog in the left here because he packed it in the right. He's probably going to bandit this low. Yeah, so there's the bandit and maybe an E-Wiz. Okay, he doesn't play an E-Wiz there, so uh, we are going to score two hog hits in the left. And he goes a battle ram in the left, so I am going to have to ice spirit knight. That should clean everything up nicely. And he goes with the magic archer, so I'm just going to fireball. I do miss the ghost though, but I think I hit the P.E.K.K.A. So yeah, it's fine. I'm going to play another set of archers low. And this is really clean defense, so... That was perfect defense on my part, and we got two hawk hits in the left, which is always nice. He actually mirrored a magic archer there, so I guess this guy has a mirror. So I haven't seen a zap spell or a, um, a fireball out of him, so he's either got uh, zap or fireball, but not both. Um, let's see, this magic archer is going to be really annoying. I'm going to log it here. I'm going to scale the bandit. Uh, it's still not in range of my tower, which is so annoying. I'm going to play an ice spirit here to jump on both. Okay, perfect. I'm going to Hog Rider on the right here. He might mirror the P.E.K.K.A. Never mind, he played the Magic Archer, so uh, he's just going to let that thing do its thing. No, he played a Bandit, okay. So this is going to be a really tricky push to defend. Um, I'm going to log the Ghost to kill it. I hit the Battle Ram. I'm going to play a Knight to kill the Bandit, Archers to kill the P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to freeze the Battle Ram and the P.E.K.K.A. And I think I need to Fireball this and log, okay. Uh, this Ghost Marcher is coming down. I'm going to surround it with Skellies. Uh, the Marcher and the Ghost do target different ones, which really sucks. But my tower does kill the Magic Archer, so uh, that was a tough sequence to defend, but I tried my best. There might have been something better I could have done, but I think I just got unlucky with the Magic Archer attacking the same thing as the Ghost. I'm going to hog in the left here. He goes with uh, Bandit Ewa, so that was going to uh, full counter, but he gives me a really nice fireball, so I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to Ice Spirit to pull the Ghost. Okay, uh, freeze the Bandit. I'm going to play Skellies on the P.E.K.K.A. Um, he didn't zap the skellies, which makes me think that he has a fireball, but I could be wrong. I can't remember if he played a zap yet. I'm gonna go hog archers here to kill the, uh, you is. Oh my god, okay, so he mirrored the pecker there, so that was a big mistake on my part. Um, I'm just gonna play a second Tesla really low, and I'm gonna surround it with skeleton once the magic archer walks on. I'm gonna play archers on the battle ram and log low to hit everything. I'm gonna play ice spirit in the middle, I'm gonna play a knight. And another set of skellies and the Tesla high. So hopefully the Tesla locks on the Magic Archer. Okay. Well, it died to my second lock, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to play an Ice Spirit in the middle. I'm going to go with the Hog Rider. He might go with another P.E.K.K.A., but it's going to be frozen. It goes with an e -Wiz, so I'm going to split the e -Wiz's damage. And he gives me a really nice Fireball there, so I'm going to take it. I get two Hawk on the left, which is nice. And I hit the Battle Ram, so this is really good. We're going to be able to win this game. Uh, I need to Fireball that Magic Archer, like, right now. Okay. And yeah, so the Magic Archer is dead. He can't mirror it because he played a bandit. So I'm just going to log the tower, and that's going to be a good game against Pekka. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed me playing this fake expo deck. It was a lot of fun. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.